you look up the definition of temptation, it says the desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. Ian Rappaport, he just put out a story, and this must be a really big story because he said that it's from him, Tom Pelissero, and Mike Garofalo. They, they all work together on this one story about Lamar Jackson. But let's read uh, the report. He said, could the Ravens trade QB Lamar Jackson? After he receives the franchise tag, a windfall of draft picks could tempt Baltimore to consider a deal. Now, before you even look at it, you see the word? That's, what, that's why we looked up the definition. So y'all would have a clear, so we all would have a clear understanding of exactly what it meant. And just to run it back, temptation means the desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. The Baltimore Ravens trading Lamar Jackson would be wrong and unwise. It would not be a smart decision. But Ian Rappaport, he wasn't lying with the headline of this article. This is something that we've talked about on here, too. Now, of course, none of us know what's going on with contract negotiations. None of us have the slightest clue. So the only thing we can base our assumptions on is the history of the people who are in negotiations right now. Now, with this being Lamar Jackson's first, second contract, we don't know his history when it comes to negotiating. But with the Baltimore Ravens, we know theirs. And we know the Baltimore Ravens, that, that, that word that if you've been a Ravens fan for a while, you probably learned this word from watching Ravens football and hearing people talk about the Ravens. The Ravens covet draft picks. You know, I, I, I never heard that word anywhere else before, ever, the word covet. But anyway, um, so we, we know that it is a real possibility. Like if somebody flashed enough draft picks in the Ravens' face, Ravens like, ah, well, I love it, give me that. But would it be enough to move on from Lamar Jackson? That's the question. Let's read the article. Uh, it says, trade Lamar Jackson. Ravens plan to tag and keep the QB, but could be tempted by a big trade offer. The Baltimore Ravens will place the franchise tag on quarterback Lamar Jackson if the sides cannot agree to a long-term deal in the coming weeks. And there is a possibility other teams could tempt Baltimore to trade the former NFL MVP for a windfall of draft picks per sources. Okay, nothing new there. But anyway, continuing, Jackson 26 played out his rookie deal this past season and is unsigned for the 2023 season. In a season-ending press conference, Ravens head coach John Harbaugh said there was a 200% chance. So Harbaugh, you ain't just say 100%. That boy said 200% chance that Jackson stays in Baltimore. And general manager Eric DaCosta said they were excited to restart negotiations even after Jackson missed the end of a second consecutive season because of injury. So... Still, nothing new here, so let's keep going. But Jackson's desire for more fully guaranteed money in line with Deshaun Watson's five-year, $230 million fully guaranteed contract with the Browns has kept the sides from striking a deal. Despite Baltimore making multiple offers near the top of the QB market in key metrics. Now, that part, in key metrics, I would assume those key metrics are average per year. Um, I would assume those key me metrics are maybe signing bonus. Uh, I would assume those key metrics are guaranteed money. And maybe the, the, the guaranteed money could be high. It may not be as high as Lamar wants it to be, but it got to be high, right? It, right? I mean, I'm sure Ravens would give him a significant offer, right? Anyway, well, we don't know. Um, continuing, it said, if the sides don't come to, a, to terms on a long-term deal before the March 7th tag deadline, the likelihood is still that Jackson plays in Baltimore yet. There are multiple ways Jackson could end up playing elsewhere in 2023. Uh, the Ravens could tag Lamar Jackson and expo explore options for a trade with surely no shortage of suitors for one of the NFL's most dynamic talents. Jackson would effectively have veto power over his destination since he need to sign the franchise tender to complete the deal. And any team giving up the level of compensation would want to work out a contract. So that's something right there. Um, Ian Rappaport or Tom Pelissero or Mike Garofalo, who whoever wrote this part of the article, uh, they're letting it be known like, hey, Lamar would have a say so on where he's dealt because say, for instance, just as an example, say, for instance, the Ravens traded him to the Lions and they came up with a deal that, that he could get traded to the Lions and they got all these draft picks. Da, 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 da. And Lamar said, nope, I don't want to go there. I'm not signing that franchise tag. Nothing happens with the trade. It cannot be done. The only way the trade could go through is if Lamar Jackson signed the franchise tag. He has to give the final OK on it. 
So Ravens could come up with all the compensation from whatever team. They could get all the first round draft picks, second round, third round, whatever. They can get all of that. But if Lamar doesn't sign the franchise tag, it's null and void. Uh, continuing, he said, if Baltimore places the non-exclusive franchise tag worth 32.416 mil on Lamar, uh, that would allow him to negotiate a contract with another team. If the Ravens don't match, they'd get two first-round picks as compensation, and Jackson would get a new home. So, yeah, we did a video explaining the, um, the different kinds of franchise tags. It's the exclusive tag, uh, it's the non-exclusive tag, um, and it's a transition tag. Now, uh, with this is talking about the non-exclusive tag, and, and they did explain it, uh, but just, we'll just do a quick recap. Uh, if, they were to, if the Ravens were to, were to place the non-exclusive franchise tag on Lamar Jackson, then he can negotiate with other teams, uh, and the Ravens would have an opportunity. If he came up with a contract agreement with another team, the Ravens would have an opportunity to match that offer, or if they didn't want to match the offer, they say, okay, well, all right, thanks, Lamar, for everything, but we'll take the f two first-round draft picks from the other team. Now, I, I don't anticipate them placing a non-exclusive franchise tag because if they did that, then they wouldn't be able to dictate what type of compensation they got if they made the poor decision of trading Lamar Jackson. But anyway, continuing. It says the non-exclusive tag uh, could also potentially allow the Ravens to keep Jackson for the long haul by letting another team negotiate that long-term deal, which Baltimore then could match. Okay, I guess I should have kept reading. Uh, the more expensive exclusive franchise tag will prevent Jackson from negotiating with another team. The situation has been years in the making. Yes, it has been. And if you would have talked to me a couple of years ago, I would have never thought it would, get, it would get to this point. I didn't. I did not think it would get to this point. But as stuff continued to, to be drawn out and there was no conclusion, nothing happened, uh, it's, it's just become more, more and more clear that this thing could possibly get ugly. Er, uglier. Anyway, um, continuing. It says, uh, <coughs> the situation has been years in the making as Jackson, who doesn't have an agent, and has his mother serving as an advisor. And Jackson is his own agent. Got to make sure that's clear. Anyway, um, he played for just $1.77 in 2021 and on his $23.016 million fifth-year option in 2022. He missed five games in 2021, including the last four because of a bone bruise in his ankle in the last six games this past season, including a wild-card playoff loss at Cincinnati because of what he tweeted last month was a grade 2 PCL sprain in his knee. Wow, that, and that's a shame that that, that part of the article got to get put in there. And they didn't lie. He did tweet that. He, he let it be known, but the fact was that he let it be known. That's, your team's supposed to be letting that be known. But this whole, oh, well, we want to have a competitive advantage. We're not going to tell about injuries and whatnot. We're going to make the other team game plan for two different quarterbacks. And the team, they allow Lamar's name to be dragged through the mud. Drug through the mud, whatever the term is. Dragged through the mud. Y'all get what I'm saying? They allow Lamar's name to be slandered. They allow Lamar Jackson to be talked about as if he is a bad teammate. And if we know anything about Lamar Jackson, especially over these past four or five years, we know that that's the exact opposite of the truth. But while people were talking about, oh, Lamar's out, he's probably sitting out because of the contract, this, that, and the third, Ravens didn't say anything for a long time. They didn't say a word. And Harbaugh continued to get up there. Oh, well, he's week to week. Oh, we can't rule him out. Da, 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 da. So he gave the impression to the public like, okay, Lamar could come back any day now. But we saw what happened. Uh, anyway, continuing, it says, if Jackson were to play on a tag with Baltimore in 2023, the Ravens could tag him again in 2024 and potentially a third time in 2025 through a third tag uh, would be virtually cost prohibitive. That means that Jackson is at least two years away from having the type of leverage that Kirk Cousins had to get his three-year $84 million fully guaranteed deal from Minnesota. Uh, Watson also had rare leverage last year in spite of allegations of sexual misconduct because the Texans allowed him to negotiate with several teams that had agreed to trade terms before Watson agreed to go to Cleveland when they ripped up his existing deal for a guaranteed, a new guaranteed pact. That's still crazy to me how that happened last year. I just, and I know it, it was allegations. So I, I can't speak on that because I don't know what it was, what happened. But the fact that he's like he got that that he got a record breaking deal despite having all of that going on, that is still insane to me, and it will never not be insane to me. But anyway. 
Um, said it also comes at a time of transition for the Ravens, who parted ways with offensive coordinator Greg Roman. After the season, Harbaugh said Jackson would be involved in the process of selecting the next OC, though sources say he has not had direct communication with any candidates. The Ravens have yet to make a hire and are interested in speaking with Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy in the coming days. And yes, with the Super Bowl being tomorrow, um, I think Ravens offensive coordinator search could come to a conclusion maybe this week. Maybe this week, uh, because that will be the end of football, uh, at least on the field, uh, after tomorrow night's game between the Chiefs and the Eagles. Um, so, yeah, this article, interesting article, nothing new, um, all stuff that we've gone over already, all stuff that y'all know already. Uh, so, again, anything's possible till it ain't possible no more. Could Lamar Jackson re with the Baltimore Ravens for a long-term deal? Yeah, of course. Could Lamar Jackson be franchise tag and then they have to work something out, whether he goes or stays or whatever? Yeah, that's true. Could he be traded? Yeah, he could be. Now, uh, as far as the timetable, something's got to give um, before March, uh, before free agency starts. So March 7th is the date where the franchise tag can be applied, but then Ravens, Ravens got some real tough decisions because you could be like, oh, yeah, they could just franchise tag them. Well, which franchise tag do you put on? The non-exclusive for like 32 mil or the exclusive for like 45 mil? You only have like a little less than 28 mil in cap space right now. And so, so you, like the decisions is going to be a, a tough one. So it's, again, I, I keep saying that, that this is the biggest offseason for Ravens general manager Eric DeCasa. He, he got a lot of work to do. But we'll see how he does. And we'll see whether Lamar Jackson remains with the Baltimore Ravens or just like the end of every one of our videos, he is out.